Welcome to ASMTG and the Weekend Kumite. So those of you who don't know what the Weekend Kumite is, Kumite in martial arts is some type of tournament. So we are doing a tournament for Magic the Gathering Arena and we're playing best of one and it's gonna be a Swiss style where we're gonna be playing four rounds and then in the championship, whoever has the best records, they're gonna be going against it. We might need to do a fifth round to figure it all out, but let's just get everything all set up and making sure this thing is working. Uh, let's see if the stream is going. Please call out in chat if anybody could hear me. Everything's working well. Always want to do a test. A little rusty, right? Haven't done a live in a little bit. Still looking. Um... Right now my studio says connecting software. So if anybody could verify, are we out there right now? Uh-oh. Says I'm live right now. Oh, good. There we go. All right. It looks like we are good to go. For some reason, that uh, had a little bit of a glitch. All right. So let me go ahead and bring up Discord right here. We got a few comments going on, making sure everybody's good. So hopefully we are all just gonna play our absolute favorite decks out there, play what you want. So those of you unfamiliar with this, you wanna hop in at some other point. So you could find link in the description for my Discord. Then what you would normally do is we're gonna come down to Kumite Conversations. This is where we'll post things, let people know about the tournament. The link is posted here. It's also posted in the community tab as well. And then anytime you want, you could come down here. We have all these different tables. People are gonna sit there and play together. So if you're just looking for a match, you wanna have some fun throughout the week, great community. And then we have a little display name for everybody. I'm not gonna click on that and share everybody's display names. But if you're part of the community, you put your display name in there, you make friends on Arena. So then I have the different people here and we're just gonna go ahead and do some challenge matches. So I'm gonna bring up this is round one of the tournament. So what I ask of everybody is we're gonna please in chat shout out, do you have your opponent? Are you there ready to go? So we have table one, as long as the two of you are good to go. If you're not in Discord, please put into chat right now. Just go really slow to look. And for mine, two for one, if you can make sure you send me the challenge request as we're kind of getting this all ready. So for that challenge request, remember you could go find the person's name, hit direct challenge. We are doing standard best of one. Make sure you choose the coin flip option. See who's going first and scroll it down. And Termos is unable to join us today. So that's why it says he has the buy. I'm not going to get this first round actually going, so please do not start your match until we see all this working. Uh, Kumite conversation. Oh, we're, we're live streaming, we're going. All right, I got my challenge, it looked like, for a second. All right, there we go. Two for one has sent the request. So I think we are ready to go. Um, after my match, the really cool thing about doing these, and again, I haven't done one now for a while. I've been really busy. So I'm hoping to get these back up, make this run a little bit smoother. But the really cool thing about our Discord is anybody who's watching, right? Obviously you can watch my games, whoever I'm playing against, but you could also click on these tables and you could check out their matches. And some people, the biggest question people often have here is, 
Well, what do you do if somebody watches my screen? Well, number one, this community has been so awesome. We've done these kumites in the past and you're like, there is no way they would have done that play if they person knew my hand. Now also, anybody could be watching YouTube right now and checking out my hand as well. It's just typically the people who end up playing me, they go mute me, they put me off to the side, they don't watch anything that's happening, they let it just all play out. So again, I just do this as an honor system. The reward isn't the biggest in the world. The winner, you're gonna get, I went to a pre-release last week, and so I have a code on the back of this that will give you six packs of our newest set, which is really cool, okay? So anybody who wins this is gonna get that. Also, I'm gonna put a bounty out on my head every single round. Anybody who beats me, I'm gonna give you a code, and this gives you some type of thing. It, like I tried one yesterday, just test it out, and it gave me one pack of Outlaws Thunder Junction. I don't know, it might be sleeves, it might be a cosmetic, we'll find out what it is, but anybody who beats me in Discord, you're gonna have to send me a message so I could send you that code, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. My match is there. I hope the rest of you find your matches as well, and we'll see what happens. All right, so best one, coin flip. I will accept that. I am going right here. All right, we are underway. Ooh, going first. So we have the Picnic Runer, we have two creatures, we have a variety of spells. So we'll go ahead and keep this, we'll take a little bit of pain. And let's hear it in chat, please. Love to hear from all of you in chat, what's going on? How's your Saturday? What are you looking forward to seeing? What have you been hyped to play in this new set? Are we, are we gonna get a little control matchup round one? So our best bet, if we are going up against control, is typically going to be our slick shot. All right, I mean, we're gonna try and do the thing. See if you have the removal right now. Yep, uses the get lost. All right, well, we could be in trouble. I don't want to play Picnic Runer. I don't want to fall in. Or do we just go for it? I don't really want to fall into temporary lockdown. I think I'm going to try and go a little bit more value, save my spells right now. So the key in this matchup, I'm going to get rid of it. The key in this matchup has typically been the slick shot. All right, I know those are good as far as it gives us some type of draw. Ooh, okay. You would love to just throw the counters on it. Let's see if we can get some more card draw. If they use a removal spell now, all right, that's good as well. We're just gonna swing in. If they have another get lost. We're still out of range of Wandering Emperor right now. So this is a situation now where yes, you wish you played Picnic Rune or maybe last turn. Yeah, I was gonna say. Right, just don't overcommit. We're trying to deploy one threat at a time. Force them not to be able to use the sweepers in a super effective way. Problem is now we are wandering Emperor range. And there's the temporary lockdown. All right, so the only good news with that is we do have a Besaju in here. So get a couple points of damage. And we have a potential eight coming at them, but we really want to save these for the slick shot. Dragon, okay. Jess Guy Dragons, love it. See if he bounces it. We would love for him to bounce it right now. He does bounce. All right, we're gonna get our draw. I mean, we could we could win this right now. 
And this is the power of this deck. You tap out. And it's game. GG's. <laughs> Ooh, that was dangerous. And we had to play it safe. And you really, in, in, in a control style matchup with this deck, you think you're in bad, bad shape, but you have a lot of really big just potential dangers for them, right? So the slick shot is typically the way I win these games. I, I plot the thing. I wait, I wait, I wait, and I blast in, right? I, I deploy one threat at a time. I normally don't want too many creatures. You want them to use those sweepers just to get rid of one thing. And then a little bit of hasty damage. We also then have some sneaky things like the power techner performer, right? You play it for a disguise, you load it up, you flip it, you burn them to the face that way as well. So lots of little ways to actually get damage in. All right, so with these Kumites, what we're gonna do then is anybody who is playing after your match, you're gonna come on in here. I'm gonna put my little win right there. And when we get everybody all matched up, we'll move on to the next one. And let's go ahead and go check in on Discord. Hopefully some of these all have their games going. So I'm gonna go ahead and there you are. Were you guys able to get your game nope. going? Oh, no, we didn't know if we were supposed to start yet. Oh, no. Did it, oh, man. Yeah, we were waiting. It usually stopped the broadcast. Oh, is it not going? I have people in chat. It says I'm live. Does it? Oh, my bad. Oh, no, I mean, I'm, like, I've been checking. So it says I'm live right now. So, I mean. Yeah, we can go. We were waiting. Oh Sorry. yeah, no. Yeah, so I just got done with my first match. But I mean, can you double check, check YouTube? Up. Am I not going right now? Can you guys not see me? Uh, let me refresh it. It says waiting for Ace. Oh. They're on mine. Yeah, right. I just got in the, the, the chats right now. They're saying I'm live. Oh, there's two live. One is running, the other was dead. Okay, that's odd. Oh, I must have edited something. So I think the other live is just out right now then. Let me see if I can go shut that off then. All right, let me, 15 watching. Oh, there you go. You're right, you're right. All right, let's go. Launch it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I found your, I found your live one. Okay, thank you. All right, yeah, go ahead and get going. I mean, I'll probably just check out one of your guys' games then as we're waiting. So let me mute yeah, myself. I would, man, I would go hop, I would go hop in everybody else unless <laughs> we're the only ones. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I put out the challenge. All right, let's go ahead and check in on that. And let me cancel this other one here. Don't know why it created two. A little weird. All right, I know not the best live TV, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get these things fixed for later. Colton, off in Arkansas. <laughs> we got some Tennessee as well. All right, this looks better. We got 19 views. Go ahead, hit that like button to help us out here. So you can check out right here, right? All the people kind of checking out this matchup right now. So we got Tompkin against Mindflays, who looks like a good solid Gagari deck. So a lot of us checking in on the table. And again, anybody interested could be doing this as well. Table six, the best cat dad. I'm gonna actually talk about him later. So the deck I was playing today is one I would like to do a video on. I'm currently nine and one with it on the Mythic Ladder. And one of my matches was against the best cat dad. And all those were recorded, not recorded. So I'm gonna actually do the recording. Hopefully it goes as well as that, right? A nine and one. But I wanted to play it in the Kumite 2 to kind of show it off, a little sneak peek of it. But I have a video, because when I played the best cat dad, uh, I didn't, at the time he wasn't a member of the discord things like that and i i was about to super pop off so i was like oh maybe i'll make a quick little short out of out of this so my video or my face is not in the video or anything but i do want to show that quick little clip in a bit man can't wait to see the new additions we have here with gagari though 
I mean, Tiny Bones, the pickpocket, is such a little monster. So, oh, oops, 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 I don't want to do that. How do I undo that? What to go full screen? Take a look. Oh my goodness. We have a super early reanimator one here from Tomkin. And let me know in chat, if you bounce around in Discord, if whatever has the coolest deck, that's the one that I want to give a code to as well. So there's a bounty out on my head. I'm going to be giving out a code. It gives you a pack or some kind of cosmetic. The winner today is going to get the code that's going to give you six packs from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. But let's also, let's do a cool one. And anybody in chat, let me hear it. Whatever by the end you think was the coolest deck you kind of saw today, shout it out and we'll send that person a code as well. All right, so we, we're building the board. Wait, does he have the reanimation already? Seven in the graveyard? I haven't been able to see the graveyard. Yeah, I think you get rid of... And ditch that, yeah. Nice. That puts eight in the graveyard, so we need one more to bring it back. Man, how fast this deck sets up. I assume nothing three mana, no permanent three mana, so pickpocket can't get it. If that thing exiled it instead, that would be absolutely just insanity. So still can't bring it back. Oh wait, what's he getting it? Get. Okay, yeah, I assume Jace here. Yeah, draw, that puts the ninth. Ooh, no green. Bad tap, right? Because if he would have kept that green up, he could have played the Soaring City and then immediately got the arena. No, I didn't get the A, uh, uh, the buy sleeveless. Thanks for joining. So I, I got a win. I went against Just Guy Dragons and I'm just playing a super fast deck. And so I was, I, I was able to hold off a few early removal, a temporary lockdown, got the win. So just waiting for uh, the round to kind of finish up here. Yeah, swings in. Jace is gonna live. You don't know the but now squirming emergencies has come out unless we have some type of graveyard hate. Oh, this is gonna be brutal right now. I think I would just plus the Jace. Right, discard my land. Keep the Soaring City for a potential later threat. Yep. Absolutely brutal. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 If your mind flies, that's what you're saying right now. <laughs> All right, so anybody with your match, if you won or lost, go and put in the results. So if you lost, you could put in the win for the other person. And when all the matches are done, again, we don't know who all showed up or not, but if your person never showed, you were never able to connect, obviously give yourself a win. I think this is might be one of our last matches going right now. And let's just, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, a little hiccup, everybody, but ho hopefully this is all working well now. So yeah, really hard to see Tomkin now losing this one here. Tomkin, long time member of the Discord, long time member of doing these Kumites as well. Right, there's so much value he's about to get here. Sheldra drops, but you can, see, I feel like, yeah, I would go Glissa. 
swing in with the pre- Oh, jeez. Mono green is my vote for most creative deck. Who's running the mono green? Okay. So we got one vote in there. Again, we, we want also a vote for most creative deck, coolest deck, whatever one you want to give it out to. My awesome little mug I made myself, get my water in. I mean, this is like one of those, like this is an inevitability type of game, right? You're gonna put up the good fight like you always would. You're gonna battle to the end. Running your mono white humans? So, you know, that's hilarious, right? You say you're not gonna win with it. And mono white humans from, what it was it? After they had the bans in the summer, I think that was like right early June, June all the way until February, whenever um, Murders at Karlov Manor came out, it was the number one deck, right? Best of one, every single month, it had the highest win rate. And then Boros Convoke started taking that spot a little bit, then a little bit of Boros Humans. And it's just so funny now, hardly anybody plays that Mono White Humans, but it's still just an absolute beast of a deck. Soul Time Mid Range. Uh, I'm out in California. Yeah, so wait for all games to be finished. So let's just bring it up really quick. So I'm looking to see that everybody has these matched, right? So we got first one down. Uh, Tomkin is playing right now, right? So yeah, so we're on our last match, which I am currently sharing. So... This is our last one. When this match finishes up, then we know all the winners. I'll do the second round pairings and we'll go from there. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so two for one was my opponent in the uh, first matchup. He decided to play his dragon, but he said he had a sunfall in hand. If you had sunfalled me, yeah, I was probably done. I was, I was gonna have to sit there and then start top decking from that point on. I know that's the problem though with the deck I'm playing, right? You feel safe for a second and the game could just be over. I did draw the pyrotechnic performer. So if you were, if you sunfalled, I would have played that disguise the next turn. I could have maybe done it. So if you would have also had removal for that, but I definitely would have been put in that top deck situation. Mind flies, I thought this thing was uh, a little bit over and he's coming back right here. Oh, he's gonna go Tiny Bones. Yeah, I would go Glissa. You got two Sheldreds offsetting each other. The thing is right now, Tomkin, he could just be swinging in. He could go full send every turn if he wants. Oh wait, he has two? Okay, I, I missed that little part. We have two portals. Oh, and a removal spell. This is brutal, absolutely brutal. I think I would attack first. I think I, yeah, see how he blocks. And then I would fire off my bitter triumph. Yep, so I'll take that trade. Then I will kill Sheldred before he draws to gain the life. My turn, I get the Sheldred back. Yeah, beautiful. Tomkin, very good player. <laughs> I love it. Wait, what, two portals in play? I know, right? But I love it, like Mind Flayers, right? He, he's doing the true thing. He's playing to the end. Like, I mean, once that first portal came out, I was like, oh boy, that, that's just like, how do we come back from that? Nice, still fighting. I don't know. 
So I know we have the best cat dad in here playing today. I don't know if you could all hear my cat is uh, crying a little bit. He says it's breakfast time. Oh yeah, thank you so much. So yeah, we actually have two cats. So that's the male one right now who's doing a little bit of whining. But uh, yeah, the female cat, good as can be. It was hilarious, right? So she was missing all day. So they are inside cats. She's my girlfriend's little princess, things like that. And I mean, she just doesn't go outside. And a door was left open. She somehow got out, woke up in the morning, couldn't find her, did not find her until like 11 o'clock that night. And I mean, she was a little scared. We brought her in literally five minutes later. She goes to her little spot, you know, lays on the bed, cleaning herself as if nothing happened. Worried all day long, looking for her, literally was outside all day searching and eventually found her. <laughs> Best cat dad, maybe you haven't heard of second breakfast. <laughs> right, no, I mean, so he has a allergy with like kind of like grain because most grain has chicken in it, so it's really like a chicken allergy. So he has to be all fish diet. And so it's like pretty much all wet food that he eats. And so it's like smaller portions at a time so it doesn't upset his stomach and things like that. But then it's like every couple hours, he just wants food, wants food, so. <laughs> all is well, thank you for stopping in really quick. Yeah, so we're finishing up round one and then we'll move to round two here. All right, so you never say it's over until it's over, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna give Tomkin the win here. We're gonna generate the matches. So let's submit all results, generate matches. I don't pay attention to this yet because I have to do a quick edit, edit pairings because we don't have uh, Termos here. So he's going to get the buy. And then this is gonna be the rest of our matches right here, okay? So save an update. Okay, because, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, did I just mess that up? I just did, right? Okay, let me fix that. Uh -uh. Okay, sorry, Termos gets the buy. All right, so edit bearings. Um. Where did he go? Okay, Termos gets the, wait. Yeah, okay. Save an update, make sure that's right. Okay, now we're off to the races, here we go. So we got Best Cat Dad against 29th. We got Aaron against Brandon, two for one against Tomkin. And then uh, a fur, Maroon. Sorry, I cannot pronounce that at all. All right, so right here, can you go ahead and find me and pair that one up? Tomkin looking good in your match right there. Oh yeah, this cat right now has got, a, got an opinion. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and pair these up. Go ahead and find your matches. All right, looks like I already got mine coming in. Just check in, oh, okay, so, oh yeah, that's my. So go ahead, again, you could hop into your tables with your opponent if you would like. If you don't wanna share it, totally fine, you don't have to. And I'm gonna just gonna bring that up one more time. My arena's flashing, my opponent has found me. So go ahead, please go and find yours one more time. Just give it a second. Here are our rounds, scroll down, table five, table six. Please help out in Discord if somebody cannot find their matchups. And good luck to everybody in this next round. I'm gonna go ahead, pop into mine. Accept, ready to go. All right, we are looking to be on the play, get that super fast start. Not our greatest hand in the world, but we got some card draw with it. 
And that's what I love about this deck. We have a bunch of pump spells that will draw us cards as well, right? Audacity, kill our creature, fine, we draw a card. We have the new one that you could plot. They kill your creature, draw a card. You have the ancestral anger, drawn cards. And all those things are going to give you uh, trample, which is absolutely crucial as well. So again, in chat, a few of you looking, so Aaron looking for Brandon. Ooh, nice, I love that deck. All right, so we got an Orzov Life Gang, but we're gonna go old school Picnic Ru Runer right now. We haven't got to see our new cards deployed yet. Love that I got the fast, how dare you, sir? How dare you? What do you take? If I get a land, I'm probably just gonna deploy the Pyrotech Performer. Look for the pumps and flip on that. Okay. Right, so I could go double pump here and flip. Picnic Runer will have double strike, but just as a 2-2. Two -two. Okay, let's see if he has one of his key cards now. He does, nice. All right, this could be trouble, right? Swing in, it's gonna go 5-5. Five, five. Do we wait it even another turn? Right, cause that, that will double that damage. Our other option. Just play it normal. All right, we're going to pass. So right now. That's six, it'll be six power. So that's six, 12 damage. One creature is gonna gain them two life. That's gonna be three life. Oh, geez. All right, I think this is away from us. And I love this deck. If I'm gonna lose, right? I love losing to something like this. Right, this is one of my favorite decks. I played this deck when I was number one mythic. I just absolutely love the thing. So that's seven. Oh! Oh, that's brutal. All right, I need something bigger than these. Oh, does not go in with the bat. I don't understand that. But we, I mean, we have to kill him now. Okay. Obviously that does, uh, we draw first. That won't do it. It's too risky to do this and draw, but do we just lose if we don't do that? I mean, because that's six, seven. It's just 14. There's just really no way. Yeah, there's nothing we could do. So we'll just do this. So if we draw a land, it at least will be more damage. Yeah, not gonna get there. GG's, he's got us. Life Gang, too much. And Life Gang is an absolutely terrible matchup for this deck. Yeah, just might as well swing, swing in with the air. All right, so it takes us down. And this is actually, the, the when I, I'm nine and one right now on the ladder with this deck. And the one game I did lose was also against uh, Orzov Life Gang, so. All right, so that means
Make sure you send me a message. I need to send you your code. So I'll take a picture of the back of the code so you could type that in. It'll get you one pack on Arena, maybe some sleeves or something like that. So very sweet. Go ahead and put that in. I get the loss. Oh, wow, he is quick. Already got himself in there. Okay. Could not wait to throw that one in. He's typing right now, so we'll, we'll make sure we send him that code afterwards. So let me show everybody. All right, so this is the best cat dad right here. This was our match we had. Like I said, I was playing this a couple days ago. Best cat dad, Mythic 100, by the way. But let's go ahead and just check it out. So this is the idea, right, of the deck. So that's a pyrotechnic performer. At 20 life right now, I'm gonna blow it up, get it huge. Even if he had a blocker out there. Also, I'm, I'm sitting here feeling he has a uh, bounce spell in hand. Right, so he has one treasure, so he's got one mana up. So the idea is the war two is absolutely crucial. I swing in, I gotta make sure I get the 11 damage in first. If I flip it up beforehand to hit him, then he's gonna bounce my creature and I'm not gonna have lethal, okay? So now he throws out the bounce spell anyway, which got me worried for a second. I was like, oh no, it does not work that way. But as soon as it flips, that allows him to now bounce. But because it's flipped, it guarantees it's gonna do 12 damage to the face right there and then hits it. So that's how you do over 20 damage all in one turn. It's not the fastest this deck could go, right? This deck could often do a three turn kill, but I like the Pyrotech Performer. It gives that other option. Instead of a three turn kill, it's a four turn kill. And you also then have the new slingshot, right? That could be a three or four turn kill as well. And then you obviously have the Picnic Ruiner, which could be a three, four turn kill. So you have three major options that could potentially kill your opponent on turn three or four, so. All right, let's go ahead and uh, maybe go check in on one of these games. See what we have. Okay, so we got the Gagari one and Romy Boss. Okay, does he have just straight up Azorius Control or a little mix? Oh yeah, you haven't seen that yet? No, thank you. That, I mean, so I again, I'm gonna make a video on it, probably my Wednesday video. So when we get done today, I'm gonna try and film that one. Now again, I went nine and one when I was just playing, practicing, things like that. And then when you go to record, you never know what's gonna happen. You hope you could get a result like that. It might not happen, but you know, what I get is what I'm gonna get. So I'll show those, but I just, I think it's got so many cool ways where you could win games early. And I know it's not the deck for everybody because you don't really have interaction, right? I don't have any get lost. I don't have any play with fires or, um, and just any burn spells, you know, there's there's no removal. So you just saw in our matchup that we lost against Orzov Life Gang, right? If they're gonna do their thing, I need to do my thing better. And if it doesn't happen, then that's how you get those losses. No, I have not uh, um, put in the list since I, I said, I at least made that comment a couple days ago. Uh, I probably should just put there. I mean, I will show mine right now if you all just want to see. So I'll just bring it up. So this is the current list I'm going with. These are cards I thought about. I know, crazy, right? I'm not playing Kamano, but the idea of this is every single one of your cards is meant to, or every one of your creatures is meant to be a threat that's going to kill them, okay? So Slick Shot, right? You buff up. The Pyrotech Performer, I just gave you a video example of doing that one. The Picnic Ruiner, we all know how that works. A bunch of buffs, double strike damage. 
Obviously, you have the scamp. So what you could do is you could go Kamano over scamp, but scamp really does give you that other option as well as a kill, right? You bump this thing up enough, you put a monstrous rage, you put a giant growth on it, and then you swing in for seven and then you sack it, that's another seven. So those are other ways you could actually just be killing them off the bat. And then as far as my pump spells, I wanted things that were either a big pump and a giant growth and everything else is going to be trample, audacity trample. Card dies, you at least draw another one. Card draw is very valuable. Monstrous Rage gives that trample, that Ancestral Angle, card draw, like I said. And then the Mnemonic Ruckus, I like this because you could plot it on turn one, right? Gives us something to do on turn one where it's a free spell later. The one downside on this card is if you draw it later and you need that pump spell, you need one mana pumps. Two mana pumps are really hard for it. That's why I left out the Antagonized Blazing Crescendo. Both really good, both huge pumps. And the other good one, I mean, Fugitive Codebreaker is great. It's fantastic. It's a prowess creature. It's got haste on it. I chose the Swift Spear for just a little lower curve. And then the Questing Druid, if you wanted more card draw and it gets big. So these are the ones I at least thought about. Oh yeah, no. Like, I, so... Slickshot Show Off, I, I called it my best card of the set. And I said it best card of the set for best of one or maybe some older formats. You'll have some crazy things you could do with this as well. But, and which I actually, I, I did a draft at my local game store and I got this and I didn't even put it on my deck because it was basically just a one-two flyer and most of my deck was just better than that. But this is a card I think is absolutely sick here in the first few weeks. And this is a card I think you guys are gonna absolutely hate because there's just so many decks it could go in and you're dead before you really even got to kind of play the game with it. it we already have a fast standard and it speeds it up so much more. So I could definitely see people shouting to the rooftops, hating this card very, very soon. I think it's gonna force people to have constant instant speed interaction. The problem is you plot it and now you're just sitting on your opponent. Tap out and you're dead. Tap out and you're dead is basically what this card says. So it gets absolutely ridiculous on at least that front. All right, let's go ahead and hop back in. Okay, so we got a victory right there. Let's just check in on our results. All right, so we got a couple we're still waiting on. So let's go ahead and see table one. See what's kind of going on there. Oh, nice. I love it. Okay, so Best Cat Dad is playing the same deck he played me with. And he probably would have won our game if uh, he didn't get mana screwed. So, I mean, he was stuck on uh, one land for like two turns and then he was stuck on two lands for a couple others. So I, I think I missed some land drops as well, but I was able to, I think it was like turn five, finally play my pyrotechnic performer and then turn six, I was able to do what I showed you all in the video. But I really love this deck, right? The kind of mono blue, ooh, nice. Three more points of damage. How is he going to be able to get it in? Right, you got the Jace that you could plus on the Ginger Brute. I'll make the most of the little time I have. Yeah, best of one is just a fire bird banana. And there's so many good ones. I really love a Boris shell for it as well. Anybody who's seen my channel for a while, you know how I love the Illuminator, the 1-1 one, one double strike knives, right? I think as far as a budget deck goes, that thing is just an all-star double striking damage. Anytime you build a budget deck, double strike is always kind of gonna be your secret little key to victory. In fact, I've thought about using that red spell that gives double strike just in the Picnic Ruiner style deck. Just so you can give double strike, right, to, to, to the slick shot. So I can give double strike to any of my other creatures besides the uh, Picnic Ruiner, just because that's so powerful. Mm. So, right, you got a bounce spell. Mm. Yeah, that's tough. You got the Eternal Wander bouncing one of your creatures. You got the Jace negating the other every turn for life that's huge
Yeah, this is going to be a tricky end of the game right here. I like how many control players we have out here, right? I'm just going to do a double check, see if this is our last. Yep, this is our last game we're watching right now. So when we get a read on this one, we'll go and put in the results and we'll head off to round number three. I really need a longer uh, cable for my headphones. It's always like yanking on me. You're coming with me. So, so far, all I've heard is, which I haven't got to see the mono green one yet. As far as, again, I'm gonna give out whoever's got the coolest deck voted on by chat. We have one vote for the mono green deck out there. Honestly, just playing the best cat dad and seeing this deck a few times on the ladder. I haven't actually checked out the actual list of it. Ooh, okay. What interaction does he have? You feel like he's got to have a removal spell, right? Yeah, I think you got to go face. Is it the Wandering Emperor? These tense moments, right? Where you're sitting there waiting. Are you going to ruin my day? Oh, man. Final showdown. First appearance I've seen since the new set released. Nice. Instant speed wrath. I do want to, I, I mean, I don't want to make a video on it because I think everybody will hate it and nobody will ever watch it. But I want to make a video where you do the all wrath deck. Literally every single card is just wraths. It's just so mean. So just put your temporary t lockdown. So obviously it's going to be Orzov, but all the temporary lockdowns, um, Path Apparel. So you have a bunch of three mana Wraths. Then you have the four mana, five mana. Then you have six mana for the instant speed Wraths and our Sunfall, Exile and everything. And just watch how many salty scoops you get. I have to do a couple games, I think, like that, just for fun. You know what? Well, this one finishes up, everybody. Let's just look at that really quick. Become subdued. Let's go destroy. Well, I don't have enough of these yet. I'll do a split. That could be the win con. Blade has no equal. Um, let's go. Let's go this way. Uh, five, six, rare mythic, sorcery. Yeah, I'll keep playing with this, but. I want to finish this up. I'm going to I'm going to do that on the ladder just for fun. All right, temporary lockdowns and things like that we need. Okay. That was just going to be my mean one to do, I think just for a little bit. Toilet paper deck. <laughs> I know, it's absolutely trash, but I saw Saffron Olive do one and I just want to do it once. Again, I'm not going to make a video of it. It's just too salty to see that. Yeah, so Final Showdown, it, it is really expensive in our super fast meta, but the instant speed ability of it is still just so ridiculous and really hard to handle. Oh, man. I mean, we're, we're battling here. No artifacts, unfortunately. So no way to get in. 
See if the double stri strikers start taking over right now. Okay, that's it. That I'm calling it. That's game right there. Right? Obviously, this mono blue artifact, it needs to get in and get in early and finish off that game. Unfortunately, right, got him to what? Three life, couldn't quite finish it. <laughs> you always frown <laughs> if they use that. I mean, gets him to four. Unfortunately, you just can't do anything to the plane walkers. By the way, though, again, I my vote, this is the coolest deck. I do like this mono blue one. Still waiting for some more people. Let me know in the chat which one has been your favorite deck you've watched so far. I still got to check out this mono green that Colton was talking about. So, right, you get... Oh. Wait, is, is that a mill? No, it gets him to two. I will shatter your mind. You're at four. That's... That was... Okay, that's seven now. You live because I allow it. So it lands on top, unfortunately. And then one more card in the deck. All right, so that should call it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this one in. Right, Termos is gonna have to get that buy again. I'm gonna submit the results, generate our matches. We're up in round three right now, but again, nobody play, because I have to edit pairings. No, 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 no. Termos gets a buy, why? Why is it doing that? I'll handle this. Oh, Aaron Cummings with 29th. Let me Do it get that way. In this situation. No. Why is it not putting him at the buy? No. Okay, there we go. Save an update. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so here we go with our matchups. Leave it up here for a second, just because that last match was finishing up. So take a look. And again, if you ever have me, I have a bounty on my head. If you beat me, I'm going to be giving you a code. It's gonna give you some prize. For me, I tried one out. It just gave me a pack of um, Outlaws at Thunder Junction. So. Anybody who beats me will get that. And we still have whoever are our top two players will win the weekend Kumite. And I will be sending you a code for six packs. All right, you like that? All right. So yeah, go ahead and send me our match request right here. And then here is table five and six. So I know best cat dad was just finishing up his match. You got Jeffrey right here. All right, so go back to the top. Just give you all a second, find up, find your matchups. Remember, if you do not have them added as a friend, please either go into Discord or put it in our chat. And again, all of you have access to this as well. You could all see this, you could put in your results, but I just wanna put it up there. And I see my matches coming in, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's do this. All right, we are one and one right now. Orzov Life Gang just 
absolute worst matchup I feel for me. The only reason I say that is we're usually looking for exact lethal and then they just keep scaling from there. Plus a voice of the bless, having vigilance, it's a great huge blocker, hard for us to get through and the flying part. So nine and one on the ladder with it currently and I also lost to Orzov Life King, so. Uh, we're gonna keep it, right? You hate the paying lands. Oh wait, is, is this the mono green I've been hearing of? Okay. We're just gonna go straight Picnic Ruiner. Oh, nice. I think I might trade here. Right, let him take my Picnic Ruiner. Nah, I'll let you ramp. Not bad, not bad. That does have, that's reach, okay. I have to give that trample then. Could just ba put both of those on. All right, we're gonna pass. All right, so we have to do something here quick because they're about to have their big deployment. <gasps> they attack with the reach creature. That is a little risky, right? I don't really have it though. Uh, oops, I don't actually want to do it that way. Ooh, there it is. There it is. All right, we need that to have trample, though. Or is it just better here? No. I think this is game right here. We'll see. See, and that's the problem with this right now, right? You can't, it just doesn't do it. So this is gonna have double strike. And we just show them it all, right? Oh, well. No sneaky reach anymore. So that's 12 and that's 19, GG's. Yeah, I thought Tyvar Stan was coming, but. Barely got there. I mean, even if you kept back Adamo, well, no, if you keep back Adamo, the way I would have to spread out that trample would have changed. You could have chump blocked. So I think, so let's look at this for a second, right? So you don't attack with a 3-3. Three, three. I only had trampled to two. I wouldn't have been able to use giant growth because I would need to give trampled to all three. So yeah, I think holding back Adamo, it would have been an interesting game right there. I mean, depending on what was in his hand, right? Maybe I win the following turn, but definitely would have been one, right? Because if I could only give Trample, if you could kill my Slick Shot, you would have been able to kill it, but I would have wanted to make sure I get Trample damage over. And I would have wanted to make sure Picnic Ruiner tramples over as well for the double strike. 
and then you you chump block my swift spear kodamo and slickshaw trade off and you're still alive and you lose one of your two creatures because you have the tyvar stand so we would have had another elise round we would have still had to see what would happen right because the next turn i still could have picnic ruiner just put the counters on or use this for trample as well so it would have been fun but good game all right let's go ahead and put our matchup in there we got ours done. Oh, somebody else finished up nice and quick, too. And again, I, I don't say any of these things like, you know, somebody played poorly or whatever. You'll see it when I'm playing as well in my videos. I make mistakes all the time. I try and just point it out so we could all learn, right? What is the best play line all the time? Not saying mine necessarily is, but I think it's a cool thing to at least talk about. Let's go to, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's not live. We can't watch. Darn, I wanna watch his life gang deck in action. Let's go ahead and check in here. Oh, it looks like their game is over. Okay. That's so weird. Oh, it looks like they can't match up right now. Maybe. All right, how about I send you the request one more time? Yeah, I've had those friend request problems. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting very frustrating right now. Yeah, we're we've been we've like both restarted our games and nothing's happening. Oh, can't cancel your friend request. Yeah, scroll all the way down. I did. I did. Yeah, I canceled it. I sent it again just now. Yeah, that's always the problem. It gets in this like little loop of trying to send it. When you go back in, maybe try the direct challenge on the upper right hand corner. Sometimes typing in their actual one will work. Oh, I sent I sent you the challenge. Maybe that worked. So like oh when I God, come in here to direct challenge and I go opponent and I actually type in their name, sometimes that's a fix of the loop. Let's try. It. I'm gonna try direct challenge and I'm gonna type it up fully. True. So you've got. Hey, when you guys do finish your game, can you just put it in chat? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on the ladder and just play a couple games while you guys are doing your match. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. So, chat, I want to hear from you. Give me a deck. Let's go hop on the ladder and just play with something. So, anybody in chat, give me a comment. Tell me what kind of deck. If I don't have it, you could send me a list. I'll build it. We'll go play it. Right, we want to allow them to get their game in. It's always a shame. It's, I mean, that's always the hard part of these Kumites. Goldfish's new land destruction. Um, let me go. So I'm, I'm super behind on, um, oops, that's not the tab I wanted. On all videos right now, let's see, uh, Goldfish videos. Oops, no, that's their podcast, Goldfish videos. Land Destruction. Today we're gonna be. Today. All right, um, where's, where's the link to the deck? View the deck, okay. Uh, let's export to Arena. Copy. Let's see how much I got to craft right now. Choo choo, let's see how much I'm mad at you. Imported deck. Oh, wait a minute. What? What? That, oh, that's not it. Oh, there it is. Oh, 14 mythic rares. Oh, I might need to hold off on this one. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let, let's, let's take another comment. I'm trying not to do... Uh, uh, I built green, white, plus one counter deck and made it for silver diamond my first. Monoblock skeletons looks fun. So I got... <laughs> I know, Choo Choo, I did ask. That is my bad. But I want to wait until I craft some of these newer cards a little bit, but I, I will want to check that one out. Um, Monoblock Skeletons is actually going to be my video on Monday. A little different. I broke it up into two parts. So, well, not really. I played four games and I needed to go to bed. So then over the next 24 hours, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, I want to make this change. So then my next four games the next day, I do have a tweak to it. So you'll see a little bit of variation there. Okay, so Aaron says they got theirs going. So I would love to play the green-white counters deck. That's actually one I wanted to build. If you have a list, I thought that would be sweet. Yeah, and, and what, let's, let's look at this deck. So land destruction, right? This is pure land destruction. Goes with some sweepers. This is going to get hit with all of those so you get all sorts of creatures off of that or another art you pay too if you do at the beginning of your next end step create a token that's a copy of an artifact so you could copy that too braided net destroy up to one target artifact i'm going to target creature and up to one target land okay so that's its land destruction at six mana enters the battlefield deals two damage so that's early removal Early removal. Interesting. A little bit of ramp. Exile one or more artifacts you control with total mana of X. Return target artifact card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So you destroy your own artifacts and then you bring it back. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. Yeah, this deck is mean. I can't, I want to watch that video. So I have a bunch of people. So I have a little Discord of the community, the people I love, right? It's got Mythic Mike. It's got Man of Man. It's got Brew Lab. It's got Hand of Justice. It's got Sleeveless. It's got Max Damage from MTG Rebellion. And all of us, we sit there in Discord. We talk all the time. And they've been talking about a lot of cool decks they've been posting. I'm just so far behind. I need to catch up. Today, tomorrow, that's going to be my time to try and catch up and watch some of those videos. Yeah, it's two lands per turn. Yeah, that... This thing does look a little bonkers, right? It's too bad that Aftermath set of theirs, all of these things are freaking mythic. That shouldn't be mythic. And that's what's costing me. That's the 10 mythics. So I, I think I have a few of these. I think in paper too. So I opened this one, I think last week at my pre-release. And I think this is going for decent money. I think it was over 10 bucks. So I was happy to see that as well. All right, well, let, let's check in before I, I do any crazy business. Actually, you know what? Let's just go on. Let me show you. Let's just play one game on the ladder for fun. So this is my other version of kind of the deck I'm playing, but Boros. Right? So you have the Illuminator. It's the same concept. I do go with Kamano, though, and because I like the pump there. So the difference is it's a little less powered, right? Because now this is not as big of a pump spell as an audacity. It's not as big of a pump spell as your giant growth, but then you do have protection with it. All you're seeing on this on the ladder is slick shot. All right, well, let's not play this one then. You guys said skeletons. Let's do a quick game of skeletons, right? So this will be the version of skeletons that I ended up with. Brew Lab and I talked a bit about it as well. And I did like his version. Um, you could do it on Discord. I don't know if you could do it on just the regular chat here. We've had problems with that before. Uh-oh, going against daddy. All right, let's keep this on the play. We don't have our enchantment. And so really, if you have, you're missing that three mana I always forget its name, right? Gives your skeletons haste. If you're missing that, it does... Ooh, a little dis... Howdy. I don't think I put howdy on mine, did I? Oh, look at this. Okay. And we're going to pass. 
I'm taking care of it. You're going to try and ninjutsu something into me. Ends up being fairly stupid on my part. I should have let him ninjutsu and that's the thing I kill. Oh, well. All right, we got a lot of removal, so. See if this will stick. They typically run counter spells. They also run bounce spells. But if you bounce this, we're okay with it. Nice. So this is a uh, best cat dad. Like, right, this is his deck. Crew that up, get in for two. No. Interesting. I don't know why you don't get in for two, right? We have Menace. So it seems a little weird. And we want to use go for the throat on the things that we can. So we're going to take care of this now before you're able to actually attack in with it. So part of me wanted to wait because you do have the three mana things that's going to be able to turn this what into a four four, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know you're supposed to have that little cough button mute myself. So swing it in. They're going to bounce. It's all right. We get in again. Still no big threats on our part. All right, now three mana. That's where they could really start cooking. Uh, deals coming. You may draw a card if you do discard. Yeah. Yep, that's what we were thinking. So we'll take the four. I think we just kill that. Too much land. Okay, you guys are done. All right, once this mat, uh, let me, let me go make those pairings. I'm gonna hold the land for right now. Uh, let's see, here we go. Oh, I won my match, sorry. Okay, here we go, everybody's got it. Termos, we have to submit pairings, generate matches. We have to edit pairings. So, who's got the buy? Francisco, so. There we go, save an update. All right, so go and check them out. Tomkin, we'll be playing each other. I just need to finish this. Oh, what, what, what? Nice. Okay, we're racing. Six to five. Can we get there? You need to play a creature to have a blocker, right? This is Menace. Okay. Doggy. We'll take it in case whatever counter spell. Giddy up. Swinging in. Unless you have a bounce spell for Corpse of the Lost. No worries, Miss, in the beginning. So I'm just, oh yeah, okay, it does have the bounce spell. Right, double block, you're still taking four. That's it, GG's. All right, we get there, everybody. Probably play a few more games today before I do the video, but all right. So now, ready for the actual matchup. All right, so we're in round four right here. Tomkin, if you could go ahead and send me that match. I already forgot what you were playing too. You'll remind me very quickly. So everybody go ahead and get set up. So this will be maybe our last round. 
before the finals. What I'd like to do, though, is when we find out who is in the finals, the rest of us, right, let's pair up. So again, bounty out on my head. You win this, Tompkin. I send you a code. And then after this round, we'll see who our top two players are. If we have tied um, rankings, what we do is we kind of do a, a playoff session. Unfortunately, this MTG event thing, which I really like to format things, won't actually let me do more than these rounds. I would like five solid rounds and then the finals. So, okay. Here we go. Tomkin. Sept. Got my picnic deck. Uh, Tomkin, what were you running? All right, here we go. Thank you so much. 91 people have checked this out today. We got 22 of you currently watching. Ooh, we're on the draw. 24 of us currently watching. I appreciate you all. If you could help me out, hit that like button. This might be a mulligan, right? Only one creature and it's not our banger. Yeah, right? It's very chill to just watch the matches not doing any of the playing. I mean, we can play this plot and audacity. I'm going to mulligan, right? I want, yes. Okay, we'll keep this. I think I'll just ditch a land. So we're going to ditch the land. We're going to want to play this disguised. Choo Choo with the five gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Everybody who just got gifted a membership, please, huge shout out to Choo Choo. Absolute all-star, right? Has been on the channel for so long, has done so much in the Discord, was one of the, one of the first person people to actually sit there with the Discord. I've done live conversations with Choo Choo to figure out things. Colton has helped out with the Discord where Choo Choo was helping out. Big shout out, really appreciate those gifted subs. All right. Oh, that's right, Tomkin. Oh, you going first is absolutely brutal on us then. Now that I just remembered, you're gonna sweep my freaking board. Maybe turn three, okay. Right, you got removal spells as well. Yep. Gets, oh boy. Oh no. No, no, no. Yep, let's swing in with this. Yeah, everybody, I think we're going two and two. I think we're gonna have a worse record than I've had on the mythic or top 1000 mythic ladder with this deck. But you know, it is what it is. Oh, we need red. Missing red is really, really hurting. All right, I'm gonna go face down. Problem is it flips up with red. Yeah, this is this is just not the start we need. So this is definitely a deck, right, where we could kill them before he's able to pop off, but we, we just didn't have it. So after this round, what we'll do is anybody else who signed up for the Kumite, if you want to do some challenge matches with me, we'll do it so I could try and give away some more of these uh, codes. Ooh, oops, what did you do wrong? I mean, the only good news is he's searching right now. We need a red land. That is not a red land. We don't want the extra point of damage. We want to hit first. All 
I get him to three. If we draw a red land, this is game over. Actually, if we draw land, this is game over. Right? Pyrotechnic Performer. Wow. He gets... Oh, no! If he has a land and you have the reanimation spell, he has the land, gets back Titan. Wait, what's in the grave? He's got eight. Ooh! <gasps> so, if he got back Titan, he gains five life, he would have gone up. Okay, I mean, we get it this way anyway. GG's. Unfortunate luck on his part, right? That, that was a situation where we weren't super fast. So if he just drew, he curved out like he normally would want to, would have easily had that game on that one. Yeah, I mean, right, he got the Titan in there. Because if he got a Troxa, that wasn't going to be able to do it. But getting the Titan, that was the key right there. Yeah, always a tough matchup, though. When you're playing a deck like this, right, they have a potential uh, turn four, basically, kill on us. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I totally thought you were going to have this, too, right? We didn't have the fastest start out there. And so... Yeah, super sweet though. Yeah, thanks for the game. That was definitely one I feel like you probably should have won on that one. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. So I got the win. Wow, these some of these matchups, right? You guys are finishing these best cat dad. Oh, he had to have had that blistering hand then, right? To get a win that fast. That mono blue deck can do it. So we got a couple other matches still going on. Let's go ahead and take a look. Is anybody, I mean, we got a few going. Uh, looks like that match is about to start showing off his deck yeah i don't see anybody playing though let's go check it out Okay, this is the mono white humans, right? He said he was running. Uh oh, chat, we got a couple uh, who didn't get their game going. Okay, so you guys still need to get your game going. All right, so. Again, they're figuring it out in chat. Remember what might happen is you might need to, oh wait, hold on. Let me go to Discord, make sure I'm muted in here. Okay, good. <laughs> what you might need to do is one, close the client. Two, you might need to do the direct challenge up here. What happens is one sends it, then the other sends it. And you guys get in this like little loop and it won't let it go through. While we wait though, anybody who wants to do a bounty, Send me a challenge right now. We'll we'll play a game. So while we wait for this last round to finish up. So again, when I see this thing light up right here. Okay. Oh, I got Romy Boss hit it before you, Tomkin. We'll, we'll go next. I did say first one, so try try and be fair. Okay. Uh, going first, not the greatest hand. We'll try it out. So honestly, the scamp has really kind of underperformed for me. I feel like. Normally, it was so great in these, but I, I just feel like it hasn't been this. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. All right, well, you're, you're getting the picnic ruiner treatment. We're going to try it, right? Before you're. Oh. 
Okay, different than I thought. So here's the question. Do you just go giant? Oh, I guess we can't, huh? We only have one green. We're going to attempt. Force him to have the kill spell right now. And then we just get down our other scamp. Yep. See if we could just find a land. We do. We don't want to play too much. Still have to worry about temporary lockdown. Um... Let's go ahead and keep that there. We're gonna do a double plot next turn. So swing in first, just try and get this damage in. Right, you're trying to just peck as much as... Uh, 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 uh. Do not tap poorly. I don't want the pain. Plot that. Plot that. And now we, we wait for them to tap out. Right? We want one more pump spell. And what is this? So we're still not going to swing in and go in for lethal on our turn until we know oh, oh, what? How dare you have a fading hope, sir? How dare you? Well, that's trouble for us. All right, so now we might have a different plan. Right, that one Fading Hope changes our entire equation. So we have the Pyrotech or Reformer that we could go with. So if we find that, at least the Ward works wonders for us. Right now, we're going to play the slightly patient slow game. <sighs> yeah. I was afraid of that. Leaving up the one. Oh, from Costa Rica. So, super cool. Thank you, number one. Love Costa Rica. I've been about seven times, but also, I'm going to be going in a month. I Oh, ganging life. We don't like that. I'm doing a student trip. I'm taking uh, 29 high school students, age 15 to 17, to Costa Rica coming up. So, super excited about that. So, love the country. So many awesome, cool, fun things to do there. Draw on the lands. Draw on the lands. Do we just force one of these out of him now? I think we just, I mean, how long can we play the patient game for?
Well, let him. I want him to send. I mean, I want him to send back the picnic ruiner, but. So that is double strike now. If he lets me swing. I'll, I'll take the eight damage, though, if you'll give me the eight damage. So the reason I did it this way, if you fading hope my show off, at least I get the card draw. Ooh, what a bugger. Okay. How much damage can I do? That's six, that's another eight. Yo. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Lord. Sorry, I didn't realize I was connected over there. Swift Spear. You could bounce. We're going to keep that there. Right, at one life. Yes, you could gang life, but you need to gang life and bounce. And so we'll see what we could do, right, when this dies. What is happening? That is so sweet. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Oh, you got your bounty right there. Romy boss, that was awesome. I love that. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, I mean, give it up for him. That was awesome. Ooh. Nice. I'll take that. Whoo, was that sweet. Yeah, that's my vote for the best deck too. That thing was absolutely insanity. That thing popping off like that, right? We get him to one life. We couldn't quite get there. Having the fading hopes in the deck. Oh my gosh, that was sweet. Man, we got to make a short out of that. That was absolutely sick. I haven't heard of that yet. I haven't seen that yet. That was incredibly cool. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just check in and see if we, we're, we're done with this round or not. Oh, I won. Okay. Um, okay, so we have one, one game we're waiting on. Anybody know what table this one's at? <laughs> oh, that was sweet. That was so sweet. All right. Uh, let's check, uh, they still got a game going? Okay. Holy cow, what do we have here? Is this the Mono White oh, Humans? Yeah, that's game. Oh, nice. Did you actually get there? No way. Yeah, I got there. <gasps> let's fucking go. Good job. that was great. Wow. Dude, no wow. shot. Wow. Oh my wow. god, every single game I get down to like no health. Holy fuck. We got some crazy oh games going on there. <laughs> I love it. All right, so let's just wait for them to put that result in. Unless somebody could tell me in chat who actually won that. I, I didn't actually pay attention to the names on that one. That was super sweet though. Uh, okay, you did? Okay. So we will go ahead and finish event, it says. Okay, so Termos is 100%. And then there's two of us. No, there's... 
I mean, we're one, two, three, four. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Hmm. Right, Termos is obviously in, oh wait, no, sorry, Termos is not here. <laughs> That's right, that's why he is 4-0, <laughs> duh. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little playoff, okay? So, we're gonna do a brand new event. Let me write this one down. So we got myself. Twenty ninth and the best cat dad. All right, so we got us four. We all have the same records. We're gonna do a little playoff right here to finish this up. Uh, who played who? Win though. Twenty ninth. Let's go back. I could go to each round, right? So, 29th. Best Cat Dad. Okay, so you won that one. You lost there. So, we never played each other. I think we should play each other. And... Yeah, all right, so let's do that. All right, so 29th, if you could send, I'll, I mean, our opponents had the highest win rate. Yeah, whatever. But uh, 29th and myself, we'll play each other just because we haven't played each other. And then Afrin Maron, Mar, Maron, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce that. And the best cat dad, if you could go ahead and pair up your games, and then the winner of that will play each other for the championship. Does that sound fair? So 29th, when you can, go ahead and send me that request for our game. Yeah, no, thank you so much for joining. And anybody else out here, like, right, you guys want to get some extra games in. Again, anybody in Discord, like I said, super cool community. You have these tables. You could jump in, theorycraft. You see some cool things. So I absolutely love it. I think these are really fun to be able to interact with everybody. And I got my match up, so 29th sent it. We'll accept that, and we'll go ahead and play it. Also, Choo Choo's been in here, one, gifting memberships, absolutely awesome. But number two, what Choo Choo has done, if you go to, let's see, where is it? I thought it was right here, right? Trophy room. You could see all our previous winners of the ones I have hosted. So, I mean, hopefully Choo Choo will be able to put the winner of this one in as well. I got two trophies in there somewhere. Oh, we'll keep this. We will keep this. So we're a little spell light. We got a lot of you control mages out here, right? All right, Pyrotechnic Performer might be our way to go. So a little Esper, we'll go ahead and pass. So blasting this up late game might be the way to go. Let's see if they just straight up temporary lockdown us right now. I have not done any of the brawls for Akumite, but that is definitely a good idea in the future. So we have Akumite chat where people could shout out. Let's give all sorts of ideas. So I'm pretty sure this just gets blown out, but I think we do it. All right, I'm sure we have a kill spell. There's no way, I mean, three mana up, right? We're just going into it. Oh, counter spell, okay. Probably double chump. Go ahead and plot this out. Plot's so good with this card. It just makes it absolutely ridiculous. I've actually, I mean, I think I've played two games of Brawl just because people have like asked for it. I'll take on an army myself if I have to. Okay. That should be enough of a distraction. 
So now we're just gonna have to wait to get the big build. Now we're gonna keep going face. I think every point of damage matters, right? We're waiting on the sunfalls of the world coming at us. Yeah, we just need to start top decking some spells though. See if he's also running the Wandering Emperor. I assume that's what's gonna come. No, okay. So we're just, oh boy. Yeah, we're in big trouble on this one, everybody. Does not look like we are making that final round, but that's okay. I would love to check it out. We love getting new winners, right? I always want to win everything, but then, I mean, you have no prize to give to the champion, so. And so what this is all about, right? Giving back to all of you who support me, watch videos, you hit likes, you leave me comments, right? That's my favorite thing about this. It gives me that local game store of doing all of it. So it makes these Saturdays so much fun. And 29th, so was this an Esper Super Friends deck? Sent me a Discord message? Okay, I will check that later. I don't want it to pop up then for everybody. Okay. Uh oh. I wonder if just thinking or somehow got disconnected here. Am I disconnected? Right, because the timer hasn't even come up. Oh, this thing, okay. Or maybe, wait, there is no timer when you're doing challenge matches, huh? Okay, we need some spells. Us just pop shotting for one is just not gonna do it. So one of the reasons though, yeah, we'll answer. So we wanna keep playing out these lands because one of our, oh geez, one of our options is the Pyrotechnic Performer disguised, pumping it, and then blasting. So we have to we have to sit here and build. The problem is he's gonna be able to get all of his good planeswalkers down. It's just gonna be too late for us. I'll handle this one. All right, we need basically our next three draws to be pump spells. We need the monstrous rage, we need the giant growth. What was our other match we have going on, right? We had, um, right? So when you guys finish up your game, make sure you uh, let us know in the comments. So then the winner of my game and your game then just could go head to head. More land, wow. What in the? Well, I'm in huge trouble. <laughs> I just have absolutely nothing here.
Remove three counters from among other artifacts, creatures, and planeswalkers control. Put an indestructible counter. Huh. How does this fit in? Do you have removal that's just like a depopulate? So it keeps yours around? If you proliferate, do it twice. Well, this is going to look like our third code we're going to give out. Okay, so there we go. There's one for us to start storing. We'll go ahead and pass. Right, we already saw a hard counter, though, so that's the issue. I mean, what did they use? Right, little life gang, some chump blockers, a counter spell was used, but no temporary lockdowns. Oh, there we go. I can run circles around you. Okay. Another spell. Now we're starting. Three. So what we need is three, and then that's two, and a flip. Okay, we still need at least one more spell. So you get to play that down for free. You may, you may activate the loyal abilities of playing walkers you control twice. Okay, gives us a treasure. Could be useful. Okay, best cat dad won their match. Do not like that. I'll play the scamp just so it won't go to night. Flipping day to night's too dangerous. Big miss. So we're going to just play the scamp out. Now we'll pass. Again, we have to have one more spell to be able to really do the thing here. So this gives me nine poison counters and then the might is what you finish it with. Right. Uh oh. You could just take an extra turn. Yeah. Super sweet, all of this. Matches are going well. Right now, we're doing a plan for the finals. There's four of us with the same record. So we have the best cat dad in the finals now. And then the winner of this match will go in the finals, which I could tell you is not going to be me. <laughs> right, we need a giant growth off the top to have a chance. But that's 15, that's 45, right? Yeah, you just have it. Just minus 15 this. GG's. Right, because I only have 43 cards. Look at this, just a little bit of everything. All right, now now we're going into the we're going into the extras. Just let it be my turn so it's game over. Is there some weird combo thing? Just showing you had it all. Now we knew they had removal, so that's why we knew we had to go with the pyrotechnical performer option. All right.
All right, so we're gonna have our finals going on now. So go ahead and pair yourselves up. So send it out to each other. So again, we got 29th. And the best cat dad going together. So again, get that match going. We'll check out Discord. We'll see if any of you are in there. And then don't forget, like, I, I mean, that's uh, two bounties. Oh, no, three, right? I lost two now, and then we did a play-in where I lost one. So I have three bounties. Make sure you send me a message so I could send you this, okay? So a code, I'm just gonna take a picture of it and I'll attach that and we'll get that going. So yeah, just go ahead, feel free, direct message me. So if you're not in Discord, you're gonna have to be in Discord though if you wanna win those bounties off of me. All right, well, it doesn't look like they're gonna be showing their match. So best cat dad, let me know in chat then at least if you've got your game going. So 29th and the best cat dad, please go ahead and start that thing up. Table one, okay. We'll go ahead and check that out. So remember, this is a game of honor we try and play around here. The two opponents should not be watching each other's games. I have myself muted here. Let's go ahead and go full screen on this one to check it out. See if they could get this game going. See if 29th is out there. Back at it again, though. Hey, rematch. <laughs> yeah. Which one were you? Um, I'm I'm the mono blue. Round two. Oh yeah, huh? I would say the one that you barely won, but that was like all of them. So, yeah. Oh, if I can. All right, let's go ahead and see how this thing goes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there it is. Not the strongest hand, <clears throat> but not too bad. Question is just going to be, will he be able to get in under fast enough? Ooh, 29th had a mulligan too, but he is on the play, which is going to be a huge, huge factor. So I would love to talk to the best cat dad about how does he determine his one drop then? Hmm. Yeah, I did, yep. So he is gonna run it out. Wow. So just deciding on the full court press. It's very interesting for me to watch this because I'm not sure that's how I would initially play it, I guess, though. I'm, I'm a little bit more hesitant. I did post my first draft. I did it with Hands of Justice. And so you watched in that one, right? I am a little bit more, I guess, a cautious player at times. See, the Wrath or Temporary Lockdown would just be scaring the crap out of me. Nice. So I think I would be, oh, does do the map, okay. Ooh, Glit, that's good hit. All right, can you share your screen? No, you, when you switch tables, it changes, it, it turns it off. Nice. Okay, there's not gonna be a Wrath right here. So 
does 29th have a counter spell? All right, we got five damage coming in. We potentially could have 10 damage coming in. Yeah, two turn clock. You have to assume some removals in the hand, right? I mean, the only thing, if you're the best cat dad right now, you're sitting back at least happy. You, you know a Wandering Emperor come, can't come out right now. You know a Sweeper can't yet. You're happy with the Glyph coming out. Counter, ooh, wow. Taps out for that. Gets a Death Toucher. You play the Glyph because they'll, mm. So here's the only problem with the Glyph though. As you block it and you want to wait for yeah, its trigger it until after a wrath. Flies, but everybody can hear you, that's all. Oh, wait, can everybody hear me? Thought I was muted. No, you're good, Ace. Yeah, I would send one. Okay. Love it. Did the tap. Okay. Still no wrath out. No wrath available. Could turn that into a 4-4 four, four flyer. That's nine in the air. Eh, kill spell kills that though. I think you got to go for it, though, right? I mean, all that mana's up. You assume you got a kill spell? It just goes with the crew. Playing it safe. Right? You, you know there's a kill spell out there, so. Oh, could also be holding up the land to do his draw. Love watching him play this deck, though. So seven damage coming in. We need an answer now. Do you have something that takes care of the vehicle, which could then turn into a creature, right? So you kind of need to wrath right now, but by wrathing, you're now all tapped out. And then your retrofitter is going to be able to get that in for the victory. Yeah, I was going to say, I play it and I just push damage. I don't think I attack with my 2 2 flyer. I think I save that as an encase. But she knows how to play this thing. So, yeah, I would make both those unblockable. Oh, no, he, he would rather go with the crew. Okay. Right, you can't instant speed Wrath right here either. Yeah, I don't see how you get out of that. Yeah, GG, bro. GG. Yeah, nice. All right, there it is. Best cat dad. He is our a, victor. Did you need a second white? So, really cool. His little trophy is going to be coming in here in Discord. We have our winner for our first Kumite we've had with our new set, uh, with the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Super cool. Mono blue, kind of that tempo aggro right there. Absolutely love it.
definitely a deck I would love to play. If the Best Cat Dad's willing to share his list with me sometime, I'd love to make a video on it. Try that one out. I think it's just a really cool, fun, creative deck. Like I said, when I played him, we were, he was at the... Uh, what, he was 100 Mythic, so top 100 Mythic he was playing with it. Okay, so super cool, happy for him, good victory. I'm gonna message him right after, give him the code for the six packs of Thunder Junction. And then three of you, please make sure you send me that message as well. We're gonna see um, if we could get one going this coming Saturday or next Saturday. So always stay tuned to the Discord community tab. I will let you know, but I absolutely love doing these. So we might try and do them every other week, things like that. But let's try and get a few more of them. We had a total of, of 14 players that initially joined this one. So we're looking to get 16, 24, make these things pretty big, lots of fun. Shout out also in the Discord. Let me know some of your ideas, what different things you like. I like to have different rule sets for each one. This was just a free for all. Best of one, bring your best deck. What did you wanna play with? So thank you all so much for joining this one have a blast with it and until next time never forget you're an ace